I'm Lindsay Beregard. And I'm Stephen Markley. And today we have a look at the new electric mini, falling gas prices, and wait, gas prices fell? Um, yeah. As well as a roadkill prevention system and a deterrent for car thieves. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. So what are gas prices at? I don't know, like two ninety two. Two ninety two? Yeah. <sighs> so sit back and buckle up. You're watching Cars Cast Weekly. Mini has unveiled its Mini E electric car set to debut at the Los Angeles Auto Show. The car will have a range of 150 miles on a single charge, and it can hit 62 miles per hour in just 8.5 seconds. The Mini E would meet the same standards as the Chevy Volt for a maximum tax credit of $5,000 if it ever goes on sale to the public. The car will be limited to a rollout of 500 cars in just three states, California, New York, and New Jersey. Oh, hey, geez. You went to go get coffee? <clears throat> Not coffee, Lindsay. Gas. I filled up my gas tank, my water bottle, and then my nephew's baby pool. And now, I had to go borrow some cups. What are we doing here? What is this? Is it my turn? Yeah, you've got the gas price story. Uh, da, da, take your heels and grab your wheels. The price of gas has fallen below $3 a gallon. For the first time since spring, the national average for a gallon of gasoline dropped to $2.92 per gallon. Woo! Yeah, we won! All right! USA! Yeah! Steven, I hate to rain on your parade, but the reason that gas prices have fallen is partly to do with the sour economy and reduced demand. Uh, do you want to go for a ride in my Escalade later or not? It's a hybrid. I ripped out the electric motor, though. Why carry all the weight, you know? Anyway, Colorado has created a roadkill prevention system along one of its highways. The system is made of an underground cable running parallel to the highway. It emits an electromagnetic field that senses if large animals are nearby. If an animal trips the system, an alert is sent to drivers through electronic road signs. If technology can help prevent roadkill, it can also help prevent car theft. Police in Vancouver, British Columbia have reported on the success of their bait car program, in which they rig cars with cameras and GPS tracking devices in locations where car thefts occur frequently. Since implementing the program in 2003, vehicle theft has fallen 45% in the province and 63% in the city of Vancouver. That must be as frustrating to car thieves as the Infiniti G35 was to Kelsey Mays in our clip of the week. And for this kind of money, you'd have to get a 328, which the G35 pretty much blows off in a sedan or there. And uh, for this kind of money, you'd have to get a 328, which the G35 kind of would blow the doors off in a stoplight competition. Um, ah! Okay. Uh, okay. Take two. Okay. Really? Take five. I don't care. For this kind of money, you'd have to settle for a 328, which the G35 pretty much leaves in the dust. At Cars.com, we've. Damn it! I got so close. It's like level 9 on Mario. You know, he's got a point. Level 9 on Mario was the bane of my existence for quite some time. Well, anyway, that's all the time we have for this week. For Cars Cast Weekly, I'm Lindsay Beregard. And I'm Stephen Markley. And until next time, bathe in the sweet, sweet nectar of our favorite finite resource. For more car related news, go to cars.com or our blog, Kicking Tires. I filled up my, my, my gas tank, uh -uh. my water bottle, my nephew's baby. <laughs> <laughs> I filled up my gas tank, my water bottle, and my, nephew ba my nephew's baby. <laughs> Damn it! I filled up my gas tank, my water bottle, and my nephew's baby. My nephew. <laughs>